Growing up, my grandfather as a car enthusiast had 60s Corvettes that I always thought were the coolest cars in the world to drive. The only issue is that most of us 90s and 2000s babies grew up driving automatic, so we didn't have the same driving experience like our parents and grandparents. This disparity has tons of people asking why almost all Americans don't drive manual anymore. Not to mention many countries all over the world still drive manual, so why is America teaching their children to drive this way? In this video, I will answer that question as I talk about the rise and fall of driving stick and the potential comeback of manual transmissions. So let's get into it, Jerry's got your back. Manual transmissions with two or three years were pretty standard when cars first came out in the 1890s and those early gearboxes were improved and refined through the 1940s. But as we moved into the 1950s and beyond, manufacturers began introducing gears 4 and 5 as it gave drivers even more control, which was necessary because there were a lot more drivers on the road by then. Drivers loved the improved gear selection because it allowed them to accelerate quicker and improved overall performance of their vehicles. Muscle and racing cars became hot commodities and American drivers loved the control they could wield over these powerful machines. Throughout the 60s and 70s, car culture would grow infinitely as people fell in love with this machinery and the art of driving. At the time, driving stick completely symbolized control and connection on the open road, something someone growing up in the 2000s would rarely feel. But starting in the 80s and primarily happening in the 90s, there was a rapid decline of manual transmission drivers in the US. This was because automatic saved people money on gas and Americans found automatic more convenient. The ease of use and stop and go traffic appealed to a new generation seeking a hassle-free driving experience. This switch also saved manufacturers money in production, so it was really a win-win for them. But we've got some good news. Manufacturers are starting to listen and cater to this niche demand. Even as automatic transmission dominates the mainstream market, an undeniable rise in interest has emerged within track-focused supercars and hypercars. Mixed with electric vehicles becoming more powerful and popular, those are two huge niches bringing back transmission in a big way. This is because drivers want to be able to feel and unlock the power potential of these cars with their own hands and not have an automatic do it for them. Since 2020, there has been a race to see who will offer the first manual transmission electric cars. The first two to get there were Porsche, with the Taycan and Audi with the e-tron GT. Moving forward, this should be an option for many of the EVs getting announced in the future. And yes, I said option. It will cost you extra if you want a manual transmission. But the good news is we are advancing. Driving stick is a nostalgic relic for some and an option people like me never had. So now as we drive through the 2020s, it's good to know that driving stick will never truly die and actually be an option for our next generation of drivers to experience in the future. Jerry, the all-car app that's got your back. Because we car.